Marine Corps Air Station Yuma is home to a new squadron. About 100 men and women have hit the ground to work alongside the MV-22 Osprey. The MV-22 Osprey is a huge improvement to its predecessor, uh, the CH-46 Sea Knight, uh, and we're very happy to have it. The VMX-22 is the testing and evaluation squadron of the Marine Corps. Any new equipment or technology is tested by the new unit. Everything right here at Yuma, I think that's where the, uh, the Marine Corps get, get the bang for the buck, so increasing efficiencies. Um, and then having every type model series at Yuma is uh, not only going to benefit the, uh, the Marine Corps, but it's going to uh, benefit the, uh, the warfighter out there. This new aircraft can go twice as fast and uses half the amount of fuel. It's capable of refueling in flight. It can take off like a helicopter and fly like a plane. Rotate from pure 90 degrees up in a, uh, a vertical process like this for takeoffs in the helicopter mode. And then uh, once they get uh, safely airborne, then it can uh, transition to, to, to an airplane. Captain Jose Negretti talks about the benefits of the MV-22, some that he has personally witnessed. We had troops that were in mountainous areas. Obviously, Afghanistan is very mountainous. Uh, and we were able to take uh, Osprey units, get them in there, get the Marines in that aircraft where it would be able to fit about 20 combat-ready Marines and get them out of there very, very quickly uh, out of harm's way. Just recently out of New River, North Carolina, VMX-22 chose Yuma as its new stomping ground based on the weather and location of MCAS Yuma. Training ranges are, are valuable um, to not only our mission, but the uh, the other units on board the uh, the air station here at Yuma and the, uh, the weather out here may be a little hot, but the, uh, the weather is uh, obviously a lot better at doing our uh, operational testing evaluation missions.